spooky week has been arrive and Halloween right on the corner. Before getting into the list, Korean movies are able to deliver some brutal and funny in a completely different league. They have mastered the art of making horror films that keep you coming back for more. So I gather some Korean film which can help you whether you like to curl up alone on your couch or to sit down with your family and watch spooky things. 5. The Wailing Directed by Na Hong Jin The Wailing is a movie that disorients you until you're filled with dread. The last 20 minutes are terrifying with an ending you'll think about for days. It packs in elements of the supernatural and suspense right up to the end. The story begins since the, the arrival of a strange man. A plague of murder and illness has spread through a mountain village. The police investigating one such set of murders and they meet a strange woman who says that the stranger is responsible for the outbreak. When one of the police finds an artifact belonging to his daughter at the stranger's house, he decides to solve the mystery before his daughter becomes the next victim. Feeling strange and unnerving, it will leading you down a rabbit hole with this unique horror story which fully deserves the acclaim it gained at release. Four, the closet. With duration 1 hour and 35 minutes, The Closet is the movie with excellent cinematography and is able to create the eerie atmosphere that giving tension and the sound's effect helps in setting the overall mood of the film too. Released back in February 2020, The Closet is about Sang Won and a daughter who moves to a new house in small village after the tragic death of his wife to rebuild their relationship. Attempting to balance his grieving with his career as an architect, Sang Won finds it hard to make time for her daughter, Yi Na. Nothing he does seems to work, but she makes a new friend who makes her laugh. Unfortunately, the friend turns out to be a malevolent spirit in her closet, and when she disappears he finds himself at a loss and being blamed by the authorities. Kyung Hoon, a strange man calling himself an exorcist shows up and claims to be able to help Sang Won seeming to have knowledge of the closet and the evil lurking within. 3. Alive If you're someone who enjoys the classic zombie apocalypse movies that focus on average people, Alive is for you. Produced by director Jo Il Hyung, Alive tells the poignant story of loneliness in the midst of a zombifying epidemic. This movie focuses on the character Oh Jun Woo, whose daily life only gets up cleaned up a bit and then started to play video games. But, when he directed Turn on the TV and discovering something was happening outside, that's when his world changed. Oh Jun Woo then left with no choice but to go in self quarantine in order to keep the zombies from entering his apartment with the remaining food supplies in the house for one month. Feeling desperate because he has short of food and water, Jun Wu wanting to end his life. But he is saved by the ray of light shown by Yu Bin, who has also survived the apocalypse by confining herself in shut doors. They both struggle to survive together and try to save each other. 2. The Call The Call is not typically new story but have a unique plot with great cinematography. Based on an adaptation of the 2011 film The Caller, it tells the story of two women who are two decades apart but are connected via an old phone. The story focus on Seo Yeon, a woman who lives in the present and accidentally finds an old phone in her childhood home. At that time she often received mysterious phone calls from someone looking for her friend. Seo Yeon then finds out that the person who has been in contact with her is Young Sook. A woman who lives in the same house but in 1999. Starting from one time until finally she regularly received the call. 
Despite being 20 years apart, the two soon become good friends. They shared many things through the phone call, but the friendship takes a turn for the worse when the future is revealed and the past has changed. 1. I saw the devil. Classic films never die and this applies to the film, I saw the devil. This is one of the most gruesomely awesome thrillers of Korean cinema that has so much rewatchability, and beware because this movie definitely not for a weak stomach. The movie does have a lot of torture scenes, but it will kept you on the edge of your seat. From the shocking beginning to all the twists and turns with beautiful cinematography contrasts the dark and dimly lit scenes where murders occur. Directed by Kim Ji-woon, I Saw the Devil is focus on a psychopath serial killer and a secret agent Kim Soo Hyun whose fiancé recently ends up being savagely murdered and her severed body parts cast out into the canals. Feeling distraught heartbroken and vengeful he decides to take matters into his own hands an exact vigilante justice on the criminals, he presumes to have had an involvement in the events leading up to her demise. That's all for today video. Did you already have your own list movies or want to try my list? Share your thought in comment section and don't forget to give me your support with like and subscribe my channel and see you in my next video.